So after the sweep measurement with Optaline Touch, let me show you an alternative way to carry out shaft alignment measurement. It is the multipoint mode. In order to go for the multipoint mode, in the measurement screen, second step in our trilogy dimension measurement result, I go onto the upper right side where it says sweep here. And in this carousel that opens up, I choose multipoint in order to change the measurement mode. So in order to start the measurement, go into farmost position. Subsequently, I will turn in machine direction again, indicated by this white arrow. What I'm going to do when this multipoint mode is, I measure on, measure on an as wide as possible range. And in this, I distribute evenly the points that we're going to take now. So I press the M button. The first reading you see has been taken. I move for about 45 degrees to nine o'clock here, press the M. Second reading has been taken. Move for another 45 degrees, press the M again. Another reading has been taken. You see the fan has turned from red into yellow. We could call the result already, but as we still have way to go, we proceed with the measurement. Proceed to 12 o'clock, press the M. See the fan turns into green. That fourth reading now. Proceed for another five, 45 degrees. Basically, you see the nice thing is that I, it's hands-free how we measure in this case compared to the sweep before. So the measurement point is always taken when I'm completely off with my hands from the machine. Proceed for another 45 degrees. STM, six readings are taken. And for the last reading, I go as far as possible without the rods or the sensors touching anything. Press the M again. C7 readings are taken. To stop the measurement, I press the white tick on blue ground. We're going to do this measurement one more time. I just explain what we have. So the last measurement we have turned for 250 degrees. Seven readings and we have a quality criterion of 100%. The result is on lower right side, both for vertical and horizontal, each gap and offset. All four values that we have show in red. Machine has not been shimmed or moved. It's misaligned. The measurement again, as I say, to check for repeatability. Press the M. Press the M in the middle. First reading is taken. Proceed the next position. Two readings are taken. Proceed for another 45 degrees. Another reading is taken. You see, the good thing is, as I say, without anything having in interfering with the shafts, I press and measure. Contrast to the sweep we did before. The fifth reading is taken. Going to three o'clock. Sixth reading. And I proceed as far as possible. And record a seventh reading. Sensors back to 12 o'clock. I call the result. And we get again, as we see how far we've turned, we get a result on lower right side. Again, showing in red, I press on the measurement table. You see two readings. The first two ones continue sweep. And the last two ones in multipoint. Obviously, the multipoint, if we compare them together, they are repeatable within. They're completely repeatable. So not even 100 apart, they are completely repeatable. And compared to the first two lines where we did the sweep measurements, we have repeatability of 100, comparing all four readings together. If you look to the right side where it says quality, the standard deviation on the very right side for the third measurement, the first in multipoint is 8,000. The fourth measurement is 9,000. So you see the standard deviation is even smaller than for the speed measurement. This has to do with the fact that while I do the measurement, 
multipoint I can take the hands off. And this is why multipoint is particularly suited when, for example, shafts are hard to turn. And this rotation and the way of rotation would interfere with then the sweep measurement. So in those cases, you would use multipoint because then you can wait as long as until the machine is completely smooth, and then you press the M for measurement. So this was the explanation of the multipoint measurement with optaline touch.